Philip and Gag, can you turn on the cam? Can you turn on the camera? Okay. The Pledge of Allegiance will go to AJ. Sansa? I, pl I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, and liberty and justice for all. Two. Thank you, AJ. The scout law will go to Gap. Okay, scout law. Signs up. Scout law. Scout is trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful, thrifty, brave, clean, and reverent. Too. Thank you, Dad. The scout oath will go to Joshua. Outside, on my honor, I will do my best to do my duty to God and my country and to obey the scout law, to help other people at all times, to keep myself physically strong, mentally awake, and morally straight, too. Thank you. The outdoor code will go to Philip. Time's up. As an American, I'll do my best to be clean in my outdoor manners, be careful with fire, be considerate in the outdoors, and be conservation-minded, too. Okay, thank you, Jimmy. I'm missing quite a few people this morning. We're missing Victor. Cammy is supposed to be here. Max. Adrian. Okay, but we'll continue on. Okay, maybe we scared some people away last week. Last week we had the traffic safety merit badge. I put all five of the videos on the Black Alpha chat so if there's some part of the answers that you didn't write down during the class you can go back and re-watch any one of or all of those five videos we didn't find a law on open containers which is like having a open beer in your car the only laws that we can find are DUI, driving under the influence or drunk driving. So on the open container law, you can put down on the answer sheet that there is no current law. And the other change that we had is that you have to monitor traffic a total of three times. For example, one day you would monitor it at nine o'clock in the morning for 30 minutes. The next day you would monitor it at one o'clock in the afternoon for 30 minutes. And the third day you would monitor the traffic for 30 minutes, let's say at four or five o'clock. So that portion is much easier. Tristan and AJ were busy last week and have finished all of the requirements where, as far as I know, with Mr. Sean, he has all the records on it. Have you guys made any progress? You guys that attended the traffic safety merit badge, have you made any progress yet? Okay, what's your question? Joshua? So can you do it anywhere? Yes. Where do you want to do it? Uh, maybe at the gate or at the subdivision. Yeah, we did it on base. 
at one of the intersections. And I will tell you that the way we did it is we counted separately motorcycles and cars. Uh, in the car category, it included trucks, buses, and cars. And then we had another category for motorcycles. And Sir? Yes. There's a requirement that you have a, you need to interview someone. Do we need to do it? Say that again. Yes, we have to interview a traffic law enforcement officer. No, we didn't get anyone to give an interview with us. We chose the requirement D, Delta, which is the one monitoring the traffic. So in the category five, task fives, you only have to do that one, five Delta, five D. So did you make any progress, Joshua? I just gonna, I'm just gonna watch the traffic and then I'm done. Okay. Philip, did you make any progress? Yes. What did you do? Other than sneezing. What did you do, Philip? I did the uh, You did what? Um, I did the first part of the requirement. <laughs> okay. Don't forget guys, when you get all of that finished, you need to either scan it We'll take a picture of the workbook pages. There's 16 of them. You're only going to use about 14 pages. And then you need to send them to Mr. Sean so he can log them in. Gab, have you made any progress? Oh, yeah, about that. Uh, not really that much of a progress because my I can't get any help here at the house because my mom works 24 7. He works at night, then he sleeps at day. He woke up at like noon and he goes back to work. Yeah. Okay, we'll stay on it. Don't don't wait too long. Yeah. Jimmy, did you make any progress? Yes, sir. I have red tread tires. And now I right. I need to fill up some forms and then what monitor traffic. Okay, don't wait too long. Make sure you get it done. Yes. <laughs> we haven't selected a end date, but I think we will, and we'll announce it. I think that everybody has a month to do this. I think it's a reasonable amount of time, so we don't drag it on too long. Okay, next slide, please. All right, this slide shows you who is what rank or finished what rank. For example, in the scout column, you have Victor Acab, who has finished scout. Max has finished tenderfoot, but he finished it after we had our board of review. So Max will go to the next board of review to get his tenderfoot. Also, Adrian needs to finish his requirements for Tenderfoot. Now you'll see the biggest part of our group are the guys that are listed under Tenderfoot who are working on second class to include the scouts in the scout column because all of our classes here in the next few weeks will be pertaining to second class. So you guys can see that you're making good progress and climbing up the ladder. And you'll see that there's only five other scouts that are in higher categories than you are. So good job from all of you guys getting your tenderfoot badge. And if everything goes right, we will have finished 
second class by about one October and you'll get your second class badge. Any questions on this? Next slide, please. Okay, I'm gonna post the schedule that I wrote on the Black Alpha chat site. And also, Mr. Ed wants to make a new chat site as if we don't have too many already. The new chat site is going to include everyone who is working on second class. So that will include those guys that are listed in the previous slide, those three that were listed, plus the other 10 that are listed under Tenderfoot. The schedule goes until October 1. Now it's not a perfect schedule and something may change, but it will give you an idea what's going on for the next few months. Okay, the differences between Tenderfoot and second class are that the community service is two hours for second class. Community service was only one hour when you guys were Tenderfoot. Now, if you want to do your community service in the next few weeks, go ahead and do that. And first, tell us what the community service is going to be. And then you can go ahead and do one or two hours of it to get it done. There's also two nights of camping. Okay, Victor, I hear you're here now. Thank you. Okay, there's two nights of camping. One is gonna be on June 5, and one of them is gonna be on August 14. And it will be much like the last virt virtual camp out that we did. And as we get closer to those dates, we'll give you the requirements, what you need to do. For example, one of them, you need to cook breakfast. Um, it's different requirements this time than it was for Tenderfoot. But as we get closer, we'll let you know what those are. The second camp out is going to be on August 14. Both of those days are Saturdays. All right, the physical training portion for second class. You remember before with Tenderfoot, you had to do 30 days of exercise. With second class, it's only 20 days of exercise. And it's supposed to be five days a week. But I'm going to modify that as I think three times a week is probably enough for you. The exercise that you're going to need to do is a one mile run, one mile, excuse me, one minute of sit ups and one minute of push ups. There's no need for the back stretch exercise to earn credit for exercising for second class. So you guys can put your back stretch box back in the closet for a while. Now, next Saturday, there's no scout meeting. I believe it's a Labor Day holiday in the Philippines. So we won't have a meeting next Saturday. There's also two knots you're going to need to learn how to do. And we'll talk about those. We'll talk about those in our next meeting. One of them is the sheep bend and one of them is the bowline knot. And of course, they're more difficult than the knots you did already. There's going to be a court of honor on 29 May and also on 21 August. So we'll get back on track having a court of honor every three months. So again, later today, I'll post the full schedule, which is about 15 pages, but you can look at it 
and you know exactly what we plan to do during the time between now and 1 October when we hope that you earn your second class badge. Next slide, please. All right, today we're gonna to be talking about the cyber chip, excuse me, the cyber chip requirement. Cyber chip requirement for Boy Scouts, just like the Cut Scouts, it's required once a year that you go over the rules of bullying people, doing dumb stuff when you're online, picking on people, posting pictures without permission, and we have this video on this slide and three more short uh, videos to watch. And then that'll be it for our meeting for today. So pretty easy day today. Now this video gives you credit for requirement 9B on your uh, second class rank. And again, the videos will probably be a little bit choppy when you see them at home. This first one, you can read the slides. The next one, we'll see how they go. Describe bullying. Tell what the appropriate response is to one who might be bullying you or bullying another person. Bullying happens when someone uses his or her power and position to frighten embarrass, harass, or threaten another person. There are many kinds of bullying. Here are just a few of the kinds of bullying. Verbal, such as name calling or teasing. Social, like... ...putting rumors, leaving someone out, and manipulating people. Physical, such as hitting, pushing, or hurting intimidating or social exclusion, criminal injury, assault, or sexual activities that are inappropriate. And finally, cyberbullying. Cyberbullying is using digital technology to carry out any of the above kinds of bullying. Here are some ways to identify if someone is being bullied or if a person is bullying another person. If a person is reluctant to join in activities, if they all often come late or leave early, if the person is afraid or nervous to be around other people, if someone shows increased anger for no reason, if someone talks about wanting to carry a weapon, especially for self-defense, someone talks about loneliness or suicide, if someone takes blame for all of their problems, if someone doesn't defend themselves when teased or bullied, or if they suddenly have fewer friends. How to stop bullying. Stand up to bullies by saying out loud that their behavior is not okay. Don't bully back. Be kind to other people who are being bullied. Be a friend and help them to form a friend group. Friend groups are harder to bully. Encourage the person being bullied to tell someone about it. Tell bystanders that they are helping the bully by laughing or joining in. Tell a trusted adult about the bullying, even if the person doesn't want you to. This has been Scatter Rob. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell for more great videos. Okay, so that's nothing new really from the previous classes you guys have had on bullying. And if you see bullying, you need to tell one of the adults in scouting so that we can get the problem corrected. The next video is about dumb stuff people do with the internet. It's only a minute and 15 seconds. Let's go ahead and watch that. Let's see how jerky it is.
slip. Do you get lost or something? I have class. Come on, Allie. Tell me about our sleepover. I don't think you can handle the details. Boys, clothes, pizza, that pill fight. Did you paint so there's nails after that? Hold on. How do you know about the party anyway? You wrote about it on your page. Well, my page is private. Not to people on your friends list. Yeah, that might have been a mistake. You know you like it. Just admit it. Whatever. Whatever, whatever. You think your page is private, but then just forget about your friends list. There could have been some sketchy creep on there. He could have just showed up to Lowe's and who knows what would have happened. Uh, not unless you're the sketchy creep, because I only add people I know in person. You're probably right, though. I should watch what I post no matter what. I'm always right. <laughs> Okay, so the theme of that video is to be careful what you post on the internet and also be careful who you share it with because they can repost it and it may be embarrassing for you. And once you post it, it's really too late because someone's copied it and then it's out on the internet. So be careful what you post. Let's watch this next video, which is called Split Decision. It's four and a half minutes. Gabriella, Lily, I hear there's been some tension between the two of you, something about a boyfriend. He's my boyfriend, but she's always all over him. We're just hanging out. We're best friends. You want to be more than just friends. Really? I've known him since the second grade. He's like my brother. Yeah, right. It's either you stare okay, at him. Okay, girls, relax. Friday never solves anything. When you feel yourself getting angry, walk away. Give yourself a little time to calm down. Maybe talk to a friend. You can even talk to an adult. When you're a little more calm, then try talking again. But that means really listening to each other, seeing things from the other person's point of view. Try to solve the problem together, because if you can't, we'll be having more of these fun chats. Yes, Mr. Lawson.
control them, but maybe if you were less of a drama queen, maybe you're the one who can't get your boyfriend. Are you serious? <sighs> Gabriella, didn't we just talk about this in my office now? Okay, so to summarize this video, and again, I apologize, they're jerky. There's no need to embarrass people on the internet. Listen, the person that's embarrassed, listen to their position. And if it means taking a photo down so as not to embarrass them, go ahead and do that. It's not worth arguing and fighting about it. Try and keep the people you know uh, happy and not angry at you by posting dumb stuff. All right, last video is called Breaking Rules, Posting Photo. And excuse me, it's called Two Kinds of Stupid. It's a three minute video. Let's go ahead and watch that. I'm a junior at NHS. I'm not anything special. I'm pretty normal. I get good grades, and my friends are pretty cool. What's up, Eddie? Even my parents aren't too bad. We love you, Mijo. I also do a little swim. Actually, some recruiters have been checking me out. I'm hoping to get a scholarship to college, so my parents don't have to worry too much about tuition. Last week was a championship. I took the old I set a school record in freestyle. Someone from the team decided to throw a party. It was crazy. Everyone from school was there, including the hot girls in my science class. <laughs> People were acting so crazy. I had to take them pictures, man. I may have had a little too much fun. It probably wasn't the smartest thing to take pictures. But then I got really dumb and posted them on my page. It's just what everyone does. And I didn't even think to use my privacy settings. So once I posted them, everyone could see them and anyone could share them. I found that out when I was called to the principal's office and saw some of the pictures from my page sitting on her desk. The coach was there too. It was really disappointing. It seems like one of my so-called friends had sent them the pictures. But which one? It could have been anybody. My ex-girlfriend was always mad at me for something. One of my teammates seemed kind of jealous. It could have even been some guy I spoke to once in the ninth grade. I guess it doesn't even matter. Because I'm going to put the pictures up there in the first place. I'm a principal saying that I violated the student outlet code of conduct. I signed up at the beginning of the year. It's zero tolerance. No more chances. I'm off the team. Goodbye scholarship. On top of that, I got suspended. I've never seen my parents so mad. Even my teammates won't talk to me. Some of them wear those pictures. And they call them to the principal's office too. At first, I was really mad at whoever sent the pictures. The business was at a pitch. But then, I realized that as soon as I posted the pictures online, I made it their business. It was really all me. I was two kinds of stupid. I was the one who broke the rules. And then I posted the picture online. It was one mistake after another. So that's my story. I used to be this kid. Now I'm this kid. This is all it took. Okay, so Eduardo, the summary of his story of two kinds of stupid first of all he went to a party and there was a lot of people there and i guess they were drinking alcohol under age that was the first thing he did stupid and the second thing he did stupid was taking people pictures of people at the party and then posting them on the internet and his school found out about it so stay away from the 
two kinds of stupid of first making illegal mistakes and then posting on the internet what you and your pals did. So those are the basics that we covered today for the cyber chip. So we won't have to do it again later this year. Do I have any questions? Have your sneezes gone away now, Philip? Is your nose okay? No? No, it's still sneezing. Okay. My nose is still red. All right. Anybody have any questions? Victor, are you really there? Do you have a camera? Victor? Yes. Do you have a camera? Wait a second. Okay, in the future, Victor, make sure you, okay, good. In the future, make sure you've got your camera on, okay? Have you done any of those tasks that I asked you to do for your tenderfoot yet? Victor? Um, not yet. Okay, well, you need to get on that, okay? Um, I'm glad to see you here today, but let's, get motivated and get those things done so we can get your tender foot badge. Okay, Jimmy, that's all I have today. Do you have anything for your patrol? No, not really. All right, can you do the closing ceremony for us, okay. please? Okay, I want everybody to unmute your mics. Yeah. Unmute, unmute, unmute. Meow. Just a reminder on Jimmy's getting ready. Okay. Remember, no meeting, no meeting next week. week. Okay. So you're in two weeks. Two weeks. Okay. okay, Jimmy, go ahead. I'm sorry. May the great scout master of all scouts. May the great scout master of all scouts may be with us until we meet again. Okay, guys, thank you. We're going to stop.